Ladies and gentlemen, the streak is indeed over. Antonio Conte's Chelsea's winning streak of 13 games in a row ended last night in White Hart Lane. What happened? They were one game away from equaling Arsenal's record. Antonio Conte has got to be kicking himself right now. What is he going to say about it? You know, for me, it was like, uh, you know, the Undertaker streak at, uh, you know, uh, WrestleMania. And uh, this was, you know, in this situation, in the reality was, uh, you know, the, the Brock Lesnar in this, uh, you know, uh, this particular, uh, you know, situation. Uh, disappointing to get a draw uh, away to Sunderland. They're not playing very good football at the moment. Uh, compared to us, we're playing great football. So I want to, uh, I want to thank uh, Mauricio Pochettino for blowing, you know, the, the title race uh, wide open. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Mauricio. <laughs> England manager alert. Um, just want to take uh, a little moment to acknowledge uh, Deli Ali and his incredible performance last night for Spurs. Um, <laughs> I think I've hit the jackpot as England manager. <laughs> incredible talent. <laughs> I think Chelsea would have been worse off if, if Mike Dean was officiating the game. Would have been maybe 4 or 5 nil. It's known that he's a Spurs fan. Um, his officiating at the moment has been absolutely dreadful. Uh, the Vaguli tackle uh, on Phil Jones was, was evident of that, of the, the West Ham United game on Monday. So I think it would have been 4 or 5 nil to Spurs because he is a Spurs fan and he's a fucking dreadful referee. Oh, Gary, stop it. It would have been like 7 nil. Mike Dean is so, so bad. I mean, it, it doesn't help that he's so arrogant as well. Walks onto the pitch, thinks he owns the pitch. Of course, you're the referee. You've got to make all these decisions. But fuck me, that was terrible. For Gooley shouldn't have been sent off. And this is coming from an ex-Man United player. Oh, you know, of course, I was manager of West Ham for a long time. West Ham is my club. But, you know, when, when I was manager of Spurs, Mike Dean was fantastic. He'd always give us a little cheeky free kick outside the box. He'd give, he'd give us a little penalty, even if it wasn't a penalty. I mean, Roman Pavlichenko loved him as well. That Saturday Night Live sketch was an absolute joke. That motherfucker sounded nothing like me. The accent was completely off. I mean, the accent couldn't have been more off. One thing. The only one positive thing I will say about that was costume, very good. Gucci Mane coat, perfect. Yeah, the jumper, the chain, it was very good. Wasn't it, Chris? Oh, absolutely. The costume was perfect. But my God, the impersonation. Oh, oh atrocious. But I'm very upset. Very, very upset, Connor. Very upset. What are you so upset about? I'm very upset that Eddie Hearn would not put Junior on the Joshua Molina card on the weekend. You don't know what being upset is all about. I had to throw in the towel against Kennedy Golovkin. I moved up two eight divisions. The bravery of Kel Brook to move up two eight divisions. And you're complaining about your son not getting on the card. I mean, you two think you have problems. I. I had to watch two bums square off against each other. Two bums that are going to fight each other in Wembley next April. How, how do you think I feel? I beat one of the bums in Vladimir Klitschko. And the other bum I beat with my eyes closed. Anthony Joshua has not been tested. I am a fat man. Anthony Joshua, Vladimir Klitschko, two fantastic physiques. I'll give that to them. They're two athletes. But I am a fat man who outclasses athletes. Fat man who outclasses athletes. What does that say about boxing? It says that I'm the best boxer on the planet. <laughs> oh my god, all these sour puss faces around here that I can't complain. I can't complain, won't be. I mean, the UFC, they, the UFC took the featherweight belt from me. Holloway, Holloway won the, won the interim belt. Now he's going to go up against the boom Jose. I mean, I, I beat those two. I outclassed those two. So, what does that say about me? What does that say about that division? That division is dead. It's done. Well, everybody's so goddamn intense down here. And Stone Cold Steve Austin is wearing a goddamn Santa hat. And here beside the Christmas tree, goddamn it's Christmas. Enjoy yourselves. Or else I'm going to have to stump my mud hole on all your asses. What? 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 Now get me a goddamn beer. I couldn't agree more with Steve Austin. Everybody's just complaining about Finn. 
I'm just here beside the Christmas tree, drinking some hot cocoa. Merry Christmas, everybody. I'm not surprised, motherfucker. <laughs> that was some. Uh, I have to give it to Nate. It was a, it was a proper fight. We will, we will deal with the trilogy. Don't you worry about that. We will deal with the trilogy. That's right, motherfucker. You best believe we're gonna do a motherfucking trilogy. Fuck that shit, okay? Stop from 209, motherfucker. We're gonna do a fucking trilogy. Me and you, Conor McGregor, Nate Diaz, number fucking three. Oh, we we will do a trilogy. Don't no fucking doubt about that. But I've got to take care of the business down to that featherweight division. Show them who's boss. Shoot that little Brazilian pussy out of the up. Go down there, fight that little pussy. And then maybe, because we're going to do this on 155, Nate, we're going to do this on 155. Eddie Alvarez, you little bitch. It's time for the king to step up. Two-weight world champion. And then I go up against Nate for that lightweight title. Mystic Mac is back. Ah! I think a lot of people are going to say that 2016 was a very bad year. I had a great year. Okay, we had the ups and downs with the election. We had that leak tape. That was 10 years ago. Okay, that was the past. All right. I won the election. I'm going to be the next president of the United States. It ended very well for Donald Trump. I was very happy. So things are going to be great for 2017. I'm getting inaugurated next month in January. I can't wait. It's going to be great. I'm going to love it. So all in all, 2016 has been a great year for Donald Trump. It was a bumpy start to 2016, no doubt about it. I lost the night in March, but I got back up again, trained hard, beat him in the rematch. Fast forward to November, UFC in New York City. I become the two-way world champion, the champ champ. So, all in all, 2016 was another good year for the king, yeah? <laughs> well, 2016... Yeah, well, you know, 2016 was, uh, it was tough towards the end. That toupee wearing mutt won the election, so I couldn't punch him right in the face, so, uh, it ended a little sour for me, to be quite honest with you. That fucking mutt. I had very mixed year in 2016. I win the FA Cup for Manchester United after 12 years. Then two days later, I received phone call from Ed Woodward telling me that I was getting the sack. So how do you think I feel at the end of 2016? Albeit I got a six million pound severance package from Manchester United. Oh my god, guys. 2016 was a really mixed year. But I'll be back in 2017 taking more nude selfies and breaking the internet. It's going to be amazing and you guys are going to love it. That's why you all gonna remember Denzel on the red carpet. This year in 2016, that reporter, she asked me if I was switching allegiances from Hillary to Trump. That's right, and then I responded to her. You all know what I did. Completely exposed media for what it is. That's right. <laughs> in the space of one minute, you all better realize that. Okay. <laughs> My man. In 2016, I turned 50. I had a really nice cake with icing and buttercream and jam. It tasted really nice. 2016 was a good year for Mike Tyson. Hi, I'm Gordon Ramsay, and I'm here with Wanderlei Silver. Big, big MMA fan. Wanderlei, I'm a massive fan, okay? Massive <laughs> fan. We're here for the Barma Bellator event. Are you looking forward to it? <laughs> oh, man. Not me, man, today. Come on, are you looking forward to it? It's good, it's good. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. you're in Dublin. I like Dublin a lot. Is the food good? Good, good. Excellent, good. excellent, yeah, yeah, yeah. excellent. Man, I'm a big Mike Tyson fan as well, Wanderlei. You know Mike? <laughs> I am Mike, man. You know he possesses that knockout oh, power. We, we've got some serious fights oh, happening man. tomorrow. Yeah. You know Wes? You know Wes is a very good friend of mine. He's retired too. Mm. He's another about. Chris Eubank, <laughs> Wonderland, Wonderland, Dar, when, when are you going to come over to London to have tea and biscuits together? I, I'm just waiting for nice, it. Nice, I'm nice, waiting nice. For it. If you're a Medstone call Steve Austin Wonderland. Oh, what? man. What? You know the way it goes, what? <laughs> what? Hell, Wonderland. We got to get Wonderland Silver on the Stone Cold Steve Austin podcast, and we got to broadcast it out everywhere. What? 
What? What? What? What? What? Am I your favorite actor? Uh, Robert De Niro? Yeah. Or is Al Pacino your favorite actor? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you might like Joe Pesci. You know Joe Bianco Fellas? Am I funny? Am I funny, Wanderlei? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is so funny about me? What the fuck? <laughs> I, I gotta tell you, I'm uh, president of the Electro Band. W Wanderlei is a great guy. A great guy, tremendous friend of mine, a very good guy. But we're gonna end this with Conor McGregor, okay? Wanda Lake, what's up, brother? Welcome to Dublin, you're more than welcome here, yeah? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jesus, Wanda Lake! Stop it, brother! Stop it! <laughs> good job, good job. Legend. <laughs> Latan cannot get it through his head. The haters, they do not understand. They, they come out of their shells. When Zlatan has one bad game and then they say, no, Zlatan can't cut it in Premier League. He cannot play. He cannot score the most important goals at the most important times. Zlatan has been doing this for years. This is what Zlatan does. Zlatan assisted Pogba for his goal. And then Pogba returned the favor for Zlatan. And Zlatan scores on 88 minute clinical time, clinical finish. It is what Zlatan does best. They doubt me, left, right and center. I have had it all my career and I proved them wrong. It's what Zlatan does best. I done it at Inter Milan, Ajax, AC Milan, PSG, the list goes on and on and on and on and on and I am doing it at Manchester United so Zlatan is a very happy man tonight and don't think that the goal scoring will not continue after this because it's just going to get better and better and better this is what Zlatan does I make statements I make an impact Zlatan does what he wants that is what I do